Hey guys, it's Brett. I'm here with a Homeworks review. I have the new One Wick Homeworks that came out just, I believe, last month. Or actually earlier this month. No, last month. It's February now, so it was, I think, the middle of January or so that came out. They have four, a set of four that they released. They have Enchanted Peony in the One Wick, Wild Hydrangea, Coconut Cake, and Island Palm. So they look like this in the One Wick. They're really pretty. I like the, I like the design on there. I mean, it's just simple, but that really nice. I like the kind of it's kind of a slightly frosted jar a little bit. And then it's got the little hairy slack and monogram on the top on the silver lid. And it's got a little ridged bottom, just like the candle, like the th uh, three and four wick candles have on the bottom there. And it has a little scent notes on the bottom. And then let me show you this one because I haven't burned this one yet. This is the um, Enchanted Peony. And then that's what it looks like. On the inside, it just has the one wick on the inside. So when I purchased these last, like a couple weeks ago, I believe it was, they had a special, it was on like a TSB, Today's Special Value on QVC, and I got them, I think they were like 37, 98 or something like that. And I debated about getting them, and I'm like, do I want them, do I not want them? Not sure. But then um, they ended up having free shipping, and then they still had them at $37, so I got the free shipping, so I went ahead and ordered them and got them and they still have them online but now they are $41.90 now and then the shipping is $5.50 is what they are now. So I wanted to jump on it when they were the cheaper price plus free shipping because I knew that wouldn't last forever. So like I said, they come in the four here and these are all returning scents. Like they've all been out before. I've had three of them but I haven't had one. I've had them all. I've had Enchanted Peony before in the um, Three wick, I believe these are all three wicks and I had them before. Except for coconut, my, coconut cake I might have had in the four wick. I've had coconut cake, wild hydrangea, and champagne, but I've never had island palm. This is the first time I've had island palm. So where do I want to start here? Okay, um, we'll start about the scents. Basically, I'll just give you a quick one through, run through. Um, these scents have been out before, so you probably kind of already know what they smell like, but if you don't, I'll kind of just give you a quick um, rundown real quick of the scent. So wild hydrangea. This, I love Wild Hydrangea. I had it in the three wick and it was like one of my favorite Homer's candles. It was so strong. It's such a good floral. Harry does florals really good. This is just like oh, such a good, such a good floral. So good. I mean, you totally get that hydrangea, the florally hydrangea with like a little bit of the greenness, like from the stem and stuff, like a green note with like the florally hydrangea. It reads blue hydrangea, Hampton meadow grass, willow branches, pear skin, and night musk. Uh, yeah, you get all that. I mean, it's just, just it's such a good blend. Such a beautiful floral, and this one is really strong. It was so strong when I had the three wick. I'll just go eat one by one. <laughs> I'll talk about them each separately. Okay, so it was really strong when I had a three wick. The one wick here did really, it was really good in the one wick as well. Not quite as strong as the three wick, of course, but it was, it did, it, it held its own for a one wick. I had it in my open concept living room area, and I could definitely smell it. I'd probably say like, um, it's, it's, I feel like it's not fair to rate these because they are one wicks, so they're gonna be lighter, but on average for this in my open concept area, I could smell it, I'd say like a six and a half or so, which is really good for a one wick. Cause usually one wicks you can't smell very well and especially in open concept area. Even at times it got to seven. I mean, I could totally smell it. Did really well. The only problem with these is the burn. The burn on these, they get really sooty. You have it lit and when you first light it, the wicks curl like they curl and they curve to like one side. So um, if you trim it, you kind of want to bend it up a little bit just because it for some reason wants to bend and curl to one side. And then you have to keep an eye on it because after you burn it so long, it, it will get so sooty. So every hour or so when you're burning this, or even maybe 30 minutes or so, you have to keep an eye on it and then you want to go in there because that flame will get really high. 
and then you'll want to blow it out and trim it. You can see here on the side, you can see this soot here just from that candle and I, from that wick, and I would try to keep up with trimming it, but then just barely sometimes within 30 minutes, it would just start sitting again. So I ended up putting a Illumilid on here. Um, also when it burned, it would, it's a little bit sore to pull out, but that's a one wick, so that's expected. But it wasn't too bad, but I just thought, maybe I should try to put a Illumilid on there. So I put a Yankee Candle Illumilid on top of it, and it actually helped it, um, it helped the flame calm down a little bit, and then I felt like it pulled out a little bit faster. Um, I, Because without that, that flame was getting pretty high and out of control a little bit, so I felt like that Illumilid kind of kept that flame a little calm more than it was. It did still get sooty though, because that, I had that Illumilid on there and it still had that soot on the side. So yeah, that one, they all actually did that. Actually, I burned all three except for the Enchanted Peony. I didn't burn that one at all. And then also the lids. The lids don't fit on here very well. The, they have the little plastic suction little lip around there, but when you put them on there, they don't stay down. They like pop back up and then they like, it's like half off. <laughs> so you can hear it. If you can just barely sit it on there and it'll stay, but it's like not really suctioned on there. But if you kind of like put it on there, it just doesn't stay on there very well. So I'm not sure that they what happened with that, but yeah, the lids are kind of kind of funky. Next up, we'll talk about coconut cake here. Coconut cake I had as well. Like I said, it was either three or fork. I cannot remember if it was a three or fork I had in that one, but it was really good in the in that, and then um, it was good in this one too. Such a it's a good coconut bakery. Definitely like a toasted coconut, and then um, that bakery cake note little vanilla it says toasted coconut coconut milk whipped cream and buttercream frosting so yeah i get the frosting whipped cream little vanilla coconut milk toasted coconut really good coconut bakery scent um this one it wasn't as strong as a wild hydrangea um and of course it wasn't as strong as the three wick or four that i burned but it was um it was probably like a six or so so it wasn't too bad five and a half to six for one wick that's pretty good but the burn same problem this one you can not as much as that one but you can still see a little bit of the soot on there but i was trying to keep up on trimming it and i did have a luma lid on this one as well so i do feel like the luma lid, a luma lid helped that a little bit on keeping that flame calmer and the soot a little bit but still it just it was more than i wanted and then i had it in the bathroom at first but like i don't want that by my sink because it's right by the wall so I don't want to get sooty there so I just kept them out here in the living room where it wasn't up against next to a wall but yeah that was pretty sooty as well and then we have Island Palm here this is the first time I've had this scent and I really like this it's so good it's definitely summery beachy um, fruity a summery kind of a scent it says watermelon, mango, grapefruit, red fruits, vanilla, and plumeria. So yeah, you definitely get the fruity, like kind of a mixture of, of watermelon, mango, and grapefruit, and your red fruits, and you do get a little vanilla. And then that uh, plumeria, kind of a floral, a little slight floral with the fruits and that vanilla. So summery, so nice, so good. Love this one. But sooty, 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 sooty. Look at that, look at all that soot. And you can see the wick there. That was only, I kept on trimming this, but it would just, after so long, it would, that wick would get so long and then like would curl like that. And then it would just get so sooty on there. So I stopped burning that. I'm, I'm just gonna put these on my candle warmer because I do not want that soot in here. You know, I live in an apartment now, so I'm not trying to um, have soot all over my walls and not get my deposit back. So I'm trying to keep up on trimming and then if this, it gets like this, I'm like, I'm just gonna have to put in my warmer because I'm not trying to have all that soot. So yeah, um, the throw on this one though, Island Palm, um, it was nice, it was probably like a five and a half-ish or so, which is good for one wick. And then we have Enchanted Peony, which I did not burn, but I will, I'll talk about the scent. I've had this in the three wick, really nice. It's like rose and peony. Basically what I get is rose and peony. Really nice blend of a floral rose and peony 
It says Velvet Peony, Pink Camellia, Golden Amber, and Fresh Blackberry. It does not say Rose, but I get Rose. So I definitely get the Peony. Um, it says Camellia, Golden Amber. I don't really get Amber. Fresh Blackberry. I don't get much Blackberry. You can maybe get a hint of it, but not much. I basically just get the Peony, but it comes off like a Rose. I, it smells like Rose and Peony to me. Really nice. It's pleasant. So um, I'm not sure how this will perform, but I I don't want to burn it because these are also sooty. So I'm just I think I'm just going to put this on my wax warmer and melt it, and it should do pretty good that way. So overall, I think they did really good, except for the burn on these. The scent was good. I mean, the scents are all good. The scents um, they threw pretty well for a one wick. I could smell all the three that I burned. I could smell pretty good for a one wick. They were good. The scents were good. Took a little bit longer to pull out, which is expected for one wick. I didn't mind that. Um, it's just the soot. The soot was not good with these. So I don't know if maybe he could try using different wicks that won't soot as much. I will say I happen to have a one wick Bath & Body Works here to compare. Um, the Homeworks is, how many ounces is it? It's eight ounce burn time is 25 to 35 hours on the homeworks the bath and body works are seven ounce so they're one ounce smaller and the burn time i think is 25 to 45 hours so they're just a little bit smaller one ounce smaller bath and body works are but my bath and body works they don't soot i just finished this one here the sun wash citrus and i can leave this going quite a while and it forms a mushroom top it takes a little bit longer to pull out one wick but it forms a mushroom top but it doesn't get sooty. I have no soot at all on this candle. So I can let this go quite a while in my bathroom and I don't have to worry about the soot. But these Homeworks ones, even just barely 30 minutes and it's sooting like crazy. So hopefully um, Harry maybe will try to use different wicks maybe that will not soot as bad. Because I'm assuming it's just the wick that is making it soot bad like that because yeah. It's not, it was a lot of soot. So personally, I don't know if I would purchase these again based on all the sooting. So based on that, um, I would purchase on your own risk, just knowing that these do soot quite a bit based on my experience. So like I said, I will finish these on my wax melt warmer. And then of course this um, enchanted peony, I'll put the whole thing on my warmers. All right, so thanks for watching my review of the Homeworks One Wick candles that are new. And I'll talk to you all in our next video. Bye.